Hi, I'm Peter Coffey, Director of Platform Research at Salesforce.com. And like me, I'll bet you've seen the cartoon where the dog is chasing the car and the cat is sarcastically asking, what do you think you're going to do if you catch it? It seems to me that that's a question that needs to be asked conceptually, if not literally, by anyone who hopes to grow a small business to enterprise size or by any enterprise that's testing out a promising technology in a small scale pilot project. Will systems that work well at small and medium scale continue to meet your needs as requirements grow? Software as a service, which many people pigeonhole as a medium scale solution, is actually one of the best examples you can find of a technology whose success you can actually afford. I'd like to share with you today some critical considerations in adopting software as a service applications or using a platform as a service like our own force.com as your next generation environment for application development and deployment. In brief, the consumer facing web applications that many people use today should be seen as a demonstration that simplicity and convenience are possible, but they should not be wrongly interpreted to mean that service based delivery is limited to simple applications. That's simply no longer the case. The most important goals for information systems managers in the largest enterprises over the next few years are in areas where a platform as a service is especially able to assist. Earlier this year, the IDC branch of the International Data Group advised enterprise IT managers that they should pursue a three-step strategy to master the expanding digital universe. They should engage business units in more of their data-related tasks. They should provide strong policy leadership in information security and business process governance, and they should ramp up their initiatives in data analytics and search. The rapid uptake of software as a service has been driven by this exact list of strengths. When software as a service is delivered with powerful and accessible customization tools like Salesforce.com's programmable workflows, Apex code for custom logic and visual force for user interface design, the business unit takes more ownership of the application and adopts the new tools far more broadly and rapidly. When application usage is observable through a service provider's dashboards and other assessment aids, there's far better visibility into who's doing what with different types of data. When a platform as a service makes it easy for applications to share data conveniently but selectively, the most difficult and brittle parts of a business analytics initiative are handled with ease and flexibility right up front. The global capacity of an international platform provider should give the enterprise manager high confidence that peaks in any individual company's usage won't strain the system. The sharing of today's rising costs of security, both digital and physical, by tens of thousands of customers makes it feasible and necessary for service providers to meet the highest standards of design, test, and verification. The standards-based interoperability of a platform like Force.com puts the enterprise professional back in charge of the technology roadmap in a way that's been almost lost over decades of dominance by a handful of proprietary software providers. I've written a white paper on the enterprise readiness of platform as a service or cloud computing as it's starting to be widely known. It goes into much more depth on the reasons why the cloud is ready to handle the world's largest workloads even while it provides a simplicity and ease of use that many people don't expect from an enterprise application. I hope you'll find that it raises your expectations. I'm Peter Coffey with Salesforce.com. Thanks for watching.